just come? Oh, yeah, I just came. Hi, everybody. Today I want to recap an American biographical crime black comedy film called The Wolf of Wall Street, I am really hope that you enjoy it. In 1987, Jordan Belfort lands a job as a Wall Street stockbroker for L. F. Rothschild. Employed under Mark Hanna. He is quickly enticed into the drug-fueled stockbroker culture and Hanna's belief that a broker's only goal is to make money for himself. Jordan loses his job following Black Monday, the largest one-day stock market drop in history, and takes a job at a boiler room brokerage firm on Long Island that specializes in penny stocks. Thanks to his aggressive pitching style and the high commissions, Jordan makes a small fortune. How'd you fucking do that? <laughs> Just like that I made two grand. Jordan befriends his neighbor Donny Azoff, and the two found their own company. They recruit several of Jordan's friends, whom Jordan trains in the art of the hard sell. Jordan's tactics and salesmanship largely contribute to the success of his pump and dump scheme, which involves inflating the price of a stock through issuing misleading, positive statements in order to sell it at an artificially augmented price. When the perpetrators of the scheme sell their overvalued securities, the price drops immensely and those who were conned into buying at the inflated price are left with stock that is suddenly worth much less than what they paid. To cloak this, Jordan gives the firm the respectable-sounding name Stratton Oakmont in 1989. After an expose in Forbes, hundreds of ambitious young financiers flock to his company. Jordan becomes immensely successful and slides into a decadent lifestyle of prostitutes and drugs. In order to stimulate our free-flowing ideas, which is why we were popping in these lewds like they were M&Ms. He has an affair with a woman named Naomi LaPaglia. You probably guess, I fucked her goddamn brains out <laughs> for 11 seconds. <sighs> When his wife finds out, Jordan divorces her and marries Naomi in 1991. Meanwhile, the SEC and the FBI begin investigating Stratton Oakmont. In 1993, Jordan illegally makes $22 million in three hours after securing the IPO of Steve Madden. This brings him and his firm further to the attention of the FBI. To hide his money, Jordan opens a Swiss bank account with corrupt banker Jean-Jacques Sorrel in the name of Naomi's Aunt Emma, who is a British national and thus outside the reach of American authorities. He uses the wife and in-laws of his friend Brad Bodnick, who have European passports, to smuggle the cash into Switzerland. Donnie and Brad get into a public brawl. Donnie escapes, but Brad is arrested. Brad does not say a word about Donnie or Jordan to the police. Jordan learns from his private investigator that the FBI is wiretapping his phones. Fearing for his son, Jordan's father advises him to leave Stratton Oakmont and lie low while Jordan's lawyer negotiates a deal to keep him out of prison. Jordan, however, cannot bear to quit and talks himself into staying in the middle of his farewell speech. In 1996, Jordan, Donnie, and their wives are on a yacht trip to Italy when they learn that Aunt Emma has died of a heart attack. Jordan decides to travel to Switzerland immediately to settle the bank account. To bypass border controls, he orders his yacht captain to sail to Monaco, but the ship capsizes in a storm. Over! I am a master diver, you hear that? I'm a master diver, no one's gonna fucking die! I got After their rescue, the plane sent to take them to Geneva is destroyed when a seagull flies into the engine. Jordan takes this as a sign from God and attempts to become sober from drugs. In 1998, the FBI arrests Jordan because Sorrell, arrested in Florida on an unrelated charge, has informed the FBI on Jordan. Since the evidence against him is overwhelming, 
Jordan agrees to gather evidence on his colleagues in exchange for leniency. After Jordan rapes her, Naomi tells Jordan she is divorcing him and wants full custody of their daughter and infant son. My children, you vicious fucking cunt, you. Fuck you, you fucking bitch! You're fucking taking my fucking kids! You're a sick man! Fuck you! I told you you're not taking my fucking kids! Don't you fucking touch me! Don't you fucking touch me! Daddy, we're gonna go a little trip together, okay? In a cocaine-fueled rage, Jordan hits Naomi and tries to drive away with his daughter, but crashes his car in the driveway. Later on, Jordan wears a wire to work that slips a note to Donnie, warning him. The FBI discovers this, arrests Jordan, and raids and shuts down Stratton Oakmont. Despite breaching his deal, Jordan receives a reduced sentence of 36 months in a minimum security prison for his testimony, and is released in 1990 after serving 22 months. After his release, Jordan makes a living hosting seminars on sales technique. Sell me this pen. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to request a film, please comment below and don't forget to press the like share and subscribe buttons and turn on the bell so we can get AdSense quickly.